Goldwyn is here. Uh, and, and Tony plays a, a character on Scandal that a lot of people... Fitz. Well, Fitz is not the greatest. I mean, what would you say? We kind of hate him maybe a little bit. However... I would take exception to that. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, he's playing a character now. Who you really hate. That makes Fitz seem like Mary Poppins. Yes. <laughs> he's playing Warren Jeffs. This is uh, right out of the headlines. Warren Jeffs, the uh, head of the polygamous cult in the Lifetime original movie, Outlaw Prophet. Here he is speaking to his followers. I will grab his hand. I will take all of your hands in mine, and we will rise up together in glory. Until God sees fit to take me from this earth, I will be the prophet you deserve. Okay, uh, Tony, first of all, good to see you again. Thank you for coming here. And personally, yeah. we love you. Personally, we love Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate <laughs> that. After I said uh, hate so many times in that <laughs> intro. Uh, th this is a very, very uh, controversial movie that you've made here for a lifetime. Uh, it is very severe in terms of its characterization mm -hmm. of, of Warren Jeffs, who we know as, at least superficially, as a terrible human being. Mm. Uh, the polygamist, uh, capable of violence, capable of changing people's lives willy-nilly, he's in jail now. In looking at this character, you know, actors always say, you never play a bad guy as a bad guy, right. right? How did you handle that? Well, you know, first of all, you're right. I mean, what, you know, Warren did was, was is just heinous, the things that, that he did to the people who followed him. Um, not least of which the young girls that he forced to marry other people or in fact married himself. Yes. Um, which is why he's in jail for life. Yeah. But, you know, as an actor, you know, what's fascinating to me about this project and what the movie really is beyond just being a biopic of, of this guy's, you know, life, um, it's a study in how we get completely seduced and addicted to power and all of it and control. You know, Warren was a guy who really seized control of this community as its profit because his father his had, father had, had, had passed, been the yeah. one before him and um, became really, I think he'd been sort of denied that in his early or life and just seized it and was one of those people truly who seized it. was Se obsessed, you know, with it and, and, and cool. just, but we all have those tendencies of where in our culture we see people who are intoxicated by fame and power and they become drug addicts, sex addicts, alcoholics control freaks you know we so this takes it to the extreme the and it's extreme really a study because of that. people the word prophet the revelator the mm. whatever else he's called next to god yeah, yeah. next to god uh we at a distance look at this and say come on this is impossible right, right? right. but these people in these communities i don't say these people in that way but in in arizona and in utah and in other places they absolutely believed in his leadership. No, you're absolutely right. And that's what also I, th I found so fascinating is, you know, the, what this, this society is, it's the fundamentalist Mormons, uh, okay, who were broke off from the Mormon church a hundred and whatever and, and, years and ago. Mor Mormons hate that their name is... In yes, the Mormons even really have renounced them, yeah. you know, yes. decades and decades yes. ago because they still practice polygamy and they've been a real, you know, bane of, of the, the Latter-day Saints, you know, mainstream church. Yes. But um, they have it's a small community but very devout and very you know fundamentalist and they believe that their prophet is the word of god in every way and he absolutely controls their and lives did you talk to people who had been like how do you prepare to get into the mindset because this is all about the the mind control yeah for me i read a lot yeah. um and there's some documentary footage but you know and then i listened warren jeffs um was an obsessive cataloger of everything about himself. So he recorded, uh, he made audio recordings of his, he was a school teacher before, of all of his lessons, his sermons, and even so bizarrely, his sessions with his young wives where he taught them how they were to be in the bedroom with him as what God expected of yes, them and, and, in and sex. By the way, and, that, and you hear these things, you just can't believe it, and we have it in the It's graphically, too, it's very graphically, uh, displayed in this movie. Now, before you go, all right, the movie's called Outlaw Prophet, Warren Jeffs. You want to talk uh, well, about... Well, you know, about ahead. Scandal. Of sure. course, we're all uh, in love with the show Scandal. Who gets more mail for you on, like, social media? Is it going to be more hate for this guy or for Fitz? Because I know you are very divisive. I don't get a lot of... <laughs> you do. I'm very defensive about Fitz because he's a good... Hardest he's, man. Yes. You know, he was just behavior. misguided. Who like his wife? Mis he's got a tough situation. Tough situation. He's in love yes. with a, a, 
uh, you know, he's in a complicated situation. But anyway, um, I don't get a lot of hate from Fitz. What I yeah. get about uh, Fitz is people who get infuriated with me as we're going along, you know, and they're like, yeah. so they, they get some hate on, and then all of a sudden Shonda Rhimes turns the tables and, and, they, and, and they you fall feel in love the compassion. With Fitz and, you feel, and that's what's so crazy about mm -hmm. Shonda. Of course, Bellamy, who we just had on the show a month or so ago, just won an award last yeah, night. Yeah, I know. Right? Critics' Choice Awards. I'm so proud of her. Mm -hmm. and well, so you, deserved. And you have something else going on, too. I also have, am executive producing a show is. called The Divide, which I'm really excited about. For we? Which airs, it's the first scripted show on sort of the newly rebranded We Network. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that uh, premieres uh, July 16th. And are you are you hateful as producing in this? Or I'm no, I'm everyone. You know, we love you as, as an actor. <laughs> <as a producer. laughs> well, 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 I can't let you go. So yeah. Olivia Pope goes off on the plane. Right. With someone else, yes. not you. Have you looked at the first script for the next season yet? No, we don't. I don't think there is a first script. We don't get the scripts, as you may have known yes. from my friends on the show. Yeah. We don't get the scripts until right before we shoot. So right. I won't know till the end of July what happens, and I won't even tell you then. Well, do you have an inkling? I have no idea, and that's the fun of being on Scandal. He's you telling never me know. no. I was going to ask 17 different know. ways to try and get something from him. You know, the 18th way, so, you know, you asked him one so nicely, I'm changing Maybe my I'll mind. Maybe yeah. no we stopped using the word hate. Great to see you, Tony. Right. Thank you very much. Tony Goldwyn, thank you. Outlaw Profit uh, premieres Saturday, June 28th at 8 o'clock on Lifetime. Lifetime. By the way, this is pretty strong stuff for Lifetime. It really is. Yes. It's a very ambitious adventure. Yes. And then it's followed by yet another documentary, too, right? Right, exactly. Yes, it is. That's right. Yeah, no, I really recommend it.